Acne is one of the most common skin conditions, yet it is notoriously difficult to cure and can leave behind scars, both physical and mental, if untreated. However, new studies show that dermocosmetic skincare specifically formulated for those prone to acne, like the La Roche-Posay Effaclar range, plays an important role in keeping skin in a good condition and help improve patient compliance alongside medical treatments. I'm joined by consultant dermatologist Dr. Anjali Marto and her former patient, Alice Living. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Dr. Marta, let's start with you. There is a real link between acne and a psychological impact, both the active acne and scars, if left untreated. That's absolutely right. I think we hugely underestimate that your acne patient will have problems with confidence, self-esteem, and actually their own mental wellness that goes along with that. So about 50% of patients who suffer with acne will socially isolate themselves. And then for those patients that actually eventually get to us, about 40% of those don't actually complete their acne treatments because of side effects of medication. Dr. Marto, skincare has come such a long way and there is so much choice. It can be hard to navigate. What would you say is key for someone with acne? And what do we mean by dermocosmetic? So when we think about dermocosmetics, what we're actually talking about is skincare products. But these products are clinically tested and they've got dermatologically active ingredients in them. So what a lot of these products can do is they can be built into an acne treatment plan or an acne routine. La Roche-Posay is the UK's number one dermatologist recommended brand and has an expert range to target these skincare needs identified in a recent paper on the use of dermocosmetics in acne management. Dr. Marto, can you share more about why you include a skincare recommendation for your patients? It's really important to give skincare advice alongside our medical treatment plans. The reason for that is a lot of the skincare is supplementary to the things that we would prescribe or do in clinic. So we often use creams or we use tablets such as isotretinoin, which can be quite drying and irritating to the skin. So to have a good skincare routine that can hydrate, comfort, support the barrier function of the skin with the right ingredients is very important for people to get to their end of the treatment plan so they're not suffering with these sorts of side effects. And then once you've got that acne treated, you then have to make sure that people's skincare routine continues. So you're reducing oiliness, you're reducing pore clogging, which in itself may lead to acne recurrence further down the line. Alice, you sought professional help from Dr. Tomato, didn't you? Can you tell us how you felt back then? So when I had acne, I definitely felt really self-conscious and I felt like I was doing everything right. I mean, I think we all know that when we're having a skin day where we feel like our skin isn't kind of um, clear, it can impact your confidence. I know that I had quite a public facing job from the age of sort of 22 and I spent a lot of my time almost hiding myself away. So I did seek out the advice from Anjali Mato. And so what I also got um, from, from Dr. Anjali was really an advice in terms of the skincare to use alongside that treatment. So I found the Effaclar H range to be really brilliant at sort of mitigating some of the dryness and the sensitivity that I felt so that I could continue, you know, enjoying the results of the treatment and feeling as though I felt super confident in my skin and at my best. And then when you went to see Dr. Marto, I mean, in terms of the conversation between you two, um, were you able to identify straight away what Alice needed? So it was very clear that for Alice, she had tried a lot of other things. So the option that we chose, isotretinoin, was the sensible one. But again, a significant number of people that take this medication do have side effects and they do not complete their course as a result of side effects. So it is really important that we actually then get that skincare treatment plan in to support the skin as much as possible to make sure that people stick to that plan, they get to their end, the skin clears, and then you can send them on their way with maintenance. Yeah, exactly. Alice, you are now post-acne. How does having clear skin make a difference to how you feel? So I'm two years on from treatment and I have continued to see the benefits of having clear skin. It has made me feel so much more confident and happy in myself. I've continued using the Effaclar range as well, which has really helped me to kind of maintain those benefits. I use Effaclar H in the evenings for that kind of real nourishing feeling, but I also use Effaclar Duo Plus M in the morning, which helps with kind of that safety blanket feeling of continuing the results um, of clear skin for me. And for you, Anjali, I mean, it, having a product that you can kind of recommend and you know that works, it, it's great as a dermatologist to be able to do that. It is. I mean, for me, it's about giving patients reliable, consistent results. So that will come with my medical management, but putting the skincare alongside that. And I think we should all be doing that. 
Dr. Anjali Marto and Alice Living, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you.